What is up guys, welcome to another Expert Gaming videos. Today we've got for you Man of the Match Lewandowski review. Um, I know he's been out for absolutely ages, but someone, um, uh, one channel that will be linked in the description of every video that he gives me the review, uh, the player for, he'll be in the description. He uh, kindly lent me, uh, lent, let me borrow Lewandowski, so he is an absolute legend. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the review straight away. So um, just again, big thanks to him and uh, let's get into it. So as you can see, look at him, I'm bringing him into this team here. So it's pretty much just going and hopping into my sweat Bundesliga team there. Um, I just took out Eswain and took uh, my Lewandowski bench uh, off the bench. But um, yeah, it's pretty much just a sweat team really. Um, you've got the five at the back, you've got the two midfielders that are OP. Uh, Goetz are in centre uh, center forward and then you've got Royce and Lewandowski up front. So uh, it's a pretty decent thing. So the teams are played against, all, all they're here. I'm not going to go through them because... They're just not worth. That's a brilliant team that was. That was the best team. There was another team that I played against, but unfortunately, I don't know where the clip went. I must have kind of like stopped. I started recording when I was already in the match, so um, that'll be further. That'll be kind of like um, if I do another review, I'll make sure I've got like every kind of clip. But yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and get into the clips. So whilst the clips are going, I'm going to be giving you uh, how much is worth and everything. So on average, it's about 355 on Xbox, and it says on average about 321 on PS3. So a bit of a slight difference there. Not very much, to be honest. Normally you can expect a lot more, but it's uh, it's only like a 20k difference, so it's not as bad. I think the person that gave me this card picked Lewandowski up for 360 on Xbox, so. Um, you can kind of make what you will of that. His standout stats, 98, 98 shot power, 99 finishing, 99 stamina, 95 reactions, uh, 85 acceleration and 85 at sprint speed, which is really good. Um, that, that's pretty beast, to be honest. 94 volleys are really good. Um, 87 heading, 88 dribbling, 91 ball control. You've got a lot of good stats there that can transpire into a very good card. And there is one goal, that one standout goal that was just absolutely amazing. And I must admit, it was it was pretty beast. So I found, like at the start, I just had to get used to him. Look at that! I just took around his keeper there. Very, uh, very, very lucky that Lewandowski did manage to get that. But I found that his long shots were definitely his kind of trait. Um, I found that uh, his his long shots were kind of like the beast of him. Um, if he did get on target and you had a decent shot, he would test that keeper pretty hard. So the attacking work rates are high and high for attacking and defending. He is right footed, he's 6 foot, um, he's only 24 to be honest, that's quite young actually. Um, 4 star weak foot, 3 star skillers, so if he had 4 star skillers, Jesus, that would be absolutely amazing. But, unfortunately he doesn't, so here we go, I think this is one of the goals that are scored. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what goal this was now then. I think it was just a, oh yeah, it was just a nice little volley there, look at that. Beautiful. So we're carrying on. We've got an absolute beast of a shot there, and we're going for the goal of the kind of match that I, uh, that I scored with him. Watch, this goal was pretty beast. I was actually really surprised when he scored this. Um, I, I never expected it to go, and it was just literally just a shot. Hold on, we're just getting to this, we're just getting past it. Even this goal was really good. I thought that was a great volley. That was a very nice, uh, nicely took first time shot. So here we go, look at this, watch this. So Lewandowski picks the ball up, thinks, uh, okay, I'll win the ball back. And I think, shoot, bang. Oh, no, you just, yeah, just awe at that. I even did a nice little salute there. Lovely little salute. It was That was just sensational. I could not believe that winning. And to be honest, he did score a goal like that as well. So it was a very, um, a very decent goal uh, for this episode. But look at that. That's a goal, that is. That's a long shot. Dipped over perfectly. So we're now going to go into the um, uh, kind of cons and pro, uh, pros and cons of him. So if we just go in there now. So as you see, positives, long shots are really good. Great finish in general, good heading. I think they're all just perfect. Um, they, they, he's got a very clinical finish, I'd say. He's one of the one of the better strikers I've played with, to be honest. And then the negative, I'm, I'm, this is why I didn't put slow pace, because he's not slow, but he's not very pacey. I found if I came up against David Luiz, Dede, uh, Santana, um, anyone like that, or kind of like um, Ogbonna, the OP uh, centre backs, or even the fast centre backs like Kabul, um, Koscielny, all of them managed to stop him because of their pace. But I'm guessing that's just because he's not the fastest player in the world. But to be honest, he does have a little bit of a pace. So the rating I'm giving him is a 8.6. So I'm I've already kind of clarified it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave a like, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye bye.